Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today it's part two of our pop and swap custom mayhem. In the first episode we looked at this, the Bizarre Battleground set, and I used a few of my spares plus a box Mega sent me to be able to make this ultimate fire team. And honestly, I gave them a little bit more adaptation since uh, the, the end of the last video. And I gotta say they turned out really nicely, especially like this sort of brute arm here and this sort of rogue, no chest sort of Spartan, maybe a Zeta Halo survivor. So today, we're having a look at Decisive Engagement. This is a really cool set. I was the most excited about the Bizarre Battleground, the color choices really, but this is still fun. Two more AIs as well. And yes, you can combine this with your Mongoose Outriders if you actually managed to get one, which a lot didn't. Last time, I had a comically long <laughs> battle with trying to get these things out of the packaging. I seem to uh, still not be making a very good go of it. Oh no, don't go anywhere, Plasma Grenade. The absolute state of this package in now. Let's look at our initial Spartans first. Yeah, look at that. So this is a Spartan Agrina's helmet and then the Anubis. You know, they're basic, but I still respect that the limbs change color halfway down. I know a lot of people really want a articulated arm. It's not high on my priority list, but I get where you're coming from. Two nice figures, basic colors, a little extra. It serves as a barricade in this set, but it can also make your Mongoose Outriders into sort of like a desert ops vehicle. And I gotta say the speckling on that is is pretty wild actually, that's really nice. It's uh, certainly not gonna be a challenge in build, boys. I think we'll get through this one. That's it, that's our barricade. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything more than that. It's just good fun. There's two more of them. I used to always go with Butler, but under more intense um, scrutiny, I then started going under Fret, because apparently everybody loves Fret. New Ravager, it's been in a couple of sets. The Commando's been out for a while now. A new Mold Sidekick Pistol, only been released in a couple of sets, and these grenades. So we have some extra armor here, and we've got two pop and swap. So I brought in a load of extras today. Basic Mark 7s, this sealed EVA. Mega sent me this really dope um, armory bay so I can make some really deluxe customs with it. Some really cool pop and swaps. A new chest onto this EVA's body. And I'm not gonna use the EVA's helmet. Oh, it's got a helmet attachment. Good on you, Mega. That's really dope, actually. And then we've got the Cat Ears Mark 7 coming in the uh, Halo multiplayer mayhem. This was super simple, because yeah, I already had the figure ready to go. I might do some diff something different with the legs. What have I got? So let's look in this piece box. I think I'll do some covert legs. Yeah, just some gray. Pretty cool. I like that pop and swap. Cool how the Ravager also has a holster on the bottom as well. I'm actually really happy with that one. That's a cool pop and swap. The rest of uh, the orange. So the obvious thing to do is pop and swap with one of these Mark 7s to give it this um, z z z z helmet. This chest also has some really weird misprints. I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna give it these legs. Pretty fun, but now we've got to add a bit more blue, haven't we? So blue shoulder on there, starting to look really nice. Swap the orange belt out. Not bad. I like that. Let's do another cybernetic and the blue shoulder. Okay, that's a very interesting figure. I like pistols on the cybernetic arm. I think it looks really cool. The remaining helmet we have is the trailblazer. We're gonna get this Gungoose Gambit figure. This recon chest. I like that it's got the exposed arms from the marine. That's a start. Single orange shoulder. Mm, that's too much. He's just carrying this ammunition. There we go. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, they are our pop and swaps. There's some extra bits of armor, but I'm gonna put them away. Beautiful pop and swaps to add to my army. Honestly, it's so much fun, and I really want to encourage Mega to make more of these packs in the future. You have to sacrifice some figures, which can be tough. There are two Zeta Halo survivors, um, and I'd love in the comments for you to give them a tag name. Maybe we'll make a bit of lore around them. Put in the comment section your lore, give them two names, Spartan IDs, and uh, give them the lore of what happened to them on Zeta Halo, and then I'll pin my favorite one. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you so much for tuning in. These are honestly so much fun to make. I'm really excited to be back into reviewing. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the decisive engagement is signing off.